Welcome back to the special show, Agwe Sanga, Lunge Sanga. And thank you for joining us right now. We continue having legends uh, in our midst as we celebrate a great icon indeed. And joining us right now is Uta Tukaifa Semenya, who needs no introduction. I do, I do. I do. <laughs> you do? <laughs> he says, I do, I do. Uta <laughs> Tukaifa, you're a legend yourself. And what is your ma most favorable moment with Uta Tumatiba? I know that you have a lot, but if you can just single out one, what would it be? Okay, the first time, the very first time I met him, because I've met him spiritually so many times when we were in, in exile. The very first time I met him in the flesh was in 1991. Mm -hmm. And it was myself, Leta, Hugh Masekela, Jonas Gwangwa, Miriam Makeba, and Abdullah Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. uh, there was this, this show that was going to be, uh, to be uh, 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 put up at uh, the stadium, Orlando Stadium, was it? Yeah, I think it was Orlando mm. Stadium. And then, then he called all of us, you know, to come and congratulate us for coming together and doing this thing together. Mm -hmm. So when we came in, because we had never met him, you know, uh, personally, and I had no idea he was that tall, you know, mm -hmm. even then. Yes. And then the beautiful thing is he gave us a smile and he called us each and every one of us by name. Wow. Says, Miriam, how are you? Later, how are you? Mm -hmm. And then he came to us, the last one, Kaifas, how have you been doing? Wow. And he said, all of you, I want to tell you that what you've been doing, your music has always kept us alive in wow. prison. Mm. And you must continue. You must continue this because this is a great blessing that you have for our country. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, it was really beautiful. I mean, to, he <laughs> did, we'd never met him, but he knew us one by one. Uh. But how you know? do we then keep his memory alive? Well, you know, keeping his memory alive is to keep one of the things that I think uh, he was asked the question one time that, um, you know, with everything that has gone down, how do you feel? And he said, one of the things that really still pain me is to see the poverty of my people, oh. you know, and uh, he was really sincere about that. And I think um, if we were to do justice to his name and to his memory, I think we should continue with some of the work that he could not finish. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, he was an old man and, you know, he did what he could. And mm -hmm. right now, he's with Oliver Tambo and all of them. Oh, yeah. You know, Voso mm -hmm. and all of them. And he says, I did what I could. I'm leaving this to you, to Kaifas, to Christelle, and everybody yes. else to continue the journey. Because well, it's a long journey. Well, Kaifas. Mm -hmm you are probably one of the most international of our guests that we've had today. You lived in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You count people like Quincy Jones amongst uh, uh, your friends that you've worked with on numerous occasions and the great compositions that you've put together in your career. The question now becomes the international reaction. Mm -hmm. Those that you've worked with, the great stars that you know, how are they feeling? What are they saying to you when they call up and say, how is South Africa dealing with the loss of Udata Mandela? Already, I mean, uh, what you're saying, I got a call from Quincy, you know, but I'm like it's just Quincy. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Quincy. Mr. Jones, to my Mr. Jones, yes. <laughs> I, got a, I got a call from Mr. Jones, but unfortunately, we couldn't talk because, uh, you know, I was on a cell phone and where I was, was was very bad. But some of the people that I spoke with from overseas, they um, they are asking me, you know, and asking how are the people of South Africa taking it? And of course, uh, it sounds like a cliche that everybody's mourning, but it's a fact that everybody's mourning. Mm. But then, then I say to them, but you know, one of the things with us as Africans, when a man has lived to be 95, you know, we are happy when he leaves us having done a great job. Mm. Because now, you know, he was in pain. I mean, since June, he's been going in and out of the hospital, but now he's rested. And we should really let him go mm. and applaud his life because his life is worth applauding, mm. you see. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and that's the way I feel, you know. I'm very happy that um, I once performed for him, mm. you know, in a private, private thing with uh, Clive Menel. And Clive Menel said, you know, we should give uh, Madiba a, a nice surprise, you know. You know, he can't be going to see you guys in stadiums. 
So we went to Clive's house, and he didn't know that we were going to be there. Mm. And then uh, when he came in, we were all assembled there as musicians, and we sang some of his favorite songs. You, you know, know what, Baba Kaifas, it's been an honor to be with you. Great to share the memories with you. But now we're going to move on because uh, standing by to uh, play us out tonight, we have Zahara as well as Mzwakimbuli uh, playing a collaboration dedicated to Tata Madiba. With that, I say, Lalagate, and remember to join us again tomorrow night, Chriselda. And thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. Don't forget to join us again tomorrow for the same broadcast, Nyeli as we pay tribute to a great icon. Talipunga. Tela Gufa, Matiba, Molum Sila, Vela Bam Pensele, Yem Yem, a global icon, internationally acclaimed. Nelson Mandela, Tata Matiba, Father of the Nation. Nelson Mandela, Tata Matiba, Father of Sustain the momentum. Madiba, we shall preserve your legacy. Madiba, we shall emulate your values and principles. History demands that we succeed as a nation. History demands that we do not become complacent.